I saw this problem all over the internet lately and just thought to myself it would be a nice idea to try and work it with you guys as well. So we're supposed to find the Wi-Fi password in a cafe, I guess, that is given by the first few digits of the answer to this bizarre integral with a negative 2 and a 2 of x cubed cos and a half of the x plus a half all multiplied by the square root of 4 minus x squared. We're gonna be all with respect to x. So how are we supposed to solve it? Well, first of all, I'd like to distribute this square root across well, the entire integral, I guess. So what I'm gonna get is the integral between negative 2 and a 2 of x cubed multiplied by the cosine of a half of the x and then multiplied and then multiplied by 4 minus x squared and then plus a half of the square root of 4 minus x squared d x. But now, I'd like to honestly consider both of those um, expressions that I'm summing up in the integrand separately because those just look kind of messy. So I'd like to, you know, take them on one at a time. So I'd like to make this entire integral just become two separate ones. So I'm just gonna add a dx here. Or maybe I would do it in orange. So I'm consistent with my color. So dx here, I'm just gonna add the integral sign right then i'm also going to make this one half pop right in front of the integral in the integral on the right hand side yeah awesome so now i'd like to consider those two separately so i'm just gonna you know separate them with a dotted yellow line because why not and now i'd like to take a closer look at this guy on the left hand side so first of all we are actually integrating over an interval that is symmetric with respect to the y-axis. We know that every single odd function integrated over a symmetric interval will give us a value of zero as a solution of the integral. Well, that is because the area between the lower bound and the y-axis and the upper bound and the y-axis are gonna be the same in value, but the signs are gonna be opposite, and so they're gonna just cancel each other out nicely. So if we manage to prove that this function right here is odd, well, we will be able to rule this entire integral out as a zero and just, you know, call it a day. Awesome, let's try and do it. So we know that, an, that a function f is going to be odd whenever f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. Yeah, so the value for negative argument is the same as the value for the absolute value of the argument, but negated. Yeah, awesome. For example, you know, the sine wave or something like this. So um, let's just say that our function here is going to be our f of x, and let's try and see what f of negative x is going to be. So, first of all, it's going to be negative x all cubed, then it's going to be cosine of negative x by 2, and then multiplied by 4, minus, and then minus x squared. But, well, now, what happens to those negative signs? First of all, this negative sign here disappears because, well, negative x squared is the same thing as, as just x squared, so we can, you know, ignore it. Cosine is known to be an even function, so we can rule out that negative, negative sign as well. And negative x all cubed is just, well, negative x cubed. Lovely. So we can write this thing as negative x cubed times the cosine of x by 2 times the square root of 4 minus x squared. But, you know, we should recognize this part. This is perfectly the same thing as we had in the original integral. This is our f of x. But we are negating it, we are multiplying it by a negative 1. And so this is the same thing as just negative our original function f of x. And so we get that f of negative x is negative of x, so f is going to be an odd function. And thus, this entire integral here is going to evaluate to zero perfectly. Now, what about this guy on the right-hand side right here? First of all, what does this integral really even mean? Well, this function, square root of 4 minus x squared, what is this function all about? So, if I set y equal to the square root of 4 minus x squared, yes, yeah? so I'm just, you know, taking myself a function, y equal to the square root. Now, I can rewrite it as x as y squared plus x squared is equal to 4 squared, but, no, sorry, not to 4, but this is just an equation for a circle with radius 2. I can actually draw it out, so I can draw it as just my circle with radius 2, 
And what I'm really saying, well, by this integral right here, is that I'm making my y a function of x, and so there's gonna be only this part of the circle, because if it, well, it can be the entire circle, because if it was, then for every single argument here, I would have two values assigned, it's not a function anymore, you know? You know, recall your high school algebra classes. And so I only care about this function right here and about the area beneath its curve. So I care about this pink area there. But what is this area? Well, that's just a half of the area of a circle with radius 2. So a half times the radius squared, which is 2 squared, and then times pi. But that just double the pi. Awesome, but now recall we are also multiplying this entire integral by another half, and so we'll have to multiply this result we got here by a half as well. I'm gonna get a half times double the pi, but that's just the same as the plane of pi, and so we will get that this guy over here is going to evaluate to a pi, and since the other things evaluated to a zero we will get that this entire integral, this entire problem, just comes down to pi. And so the first few digits of the answer are like, you know, 3.145, that's, those are about all the digits of pi that I remember. But I think we got it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it and see you in the next one.